Welcome back. We've seen that over the past 800,000 years, variations in the climate had been driven by natural variation in Earth's orbit. But recent global warming is a lot steeper and faster than the previous 5 degrees C variation over thousands of years. Earth has warmed more than 1 degree C in the past 100 years. Something is clearly happening. And in order to understand what it is, we need to look to our atmosphere, to the thin layer of gases that envelop our planet. And we need to learn about something called the greenhouse effect. Earth's atmosphere is a mix of gases, mainly nitrogen and oxygen. There's also some argon, carbon dioxide, ozone, methane, and water vapor. These gases, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, and water vapor, are called greenhouse gases. Sunlight passes through them and warms the planet. The planet radiates some of that heat back out, and some of it gets trapped by these greenhouse gases, which warm the Earth like a blanket. Or like a sweater. This heating from the greenhouse gases is called the greenhouse effect. But how does it work? Well, think of the clothes you're wearing. They're trapping and retaining some of the heat energy that's radiated out by your body, keeping you warm. And they're doing that by preventing some of that heat from escaping out into the rest of the room. Similar happens for the Earth. The greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap and retain some of the heat energy that's radiated out from the planet, trapping that heat rather than letting it escape out into space. And here's something surprising. On average, the Earth's surface receives almost twice as much heat from the atmosphere as it does directly from the sun. Why? Well, mostly because the atmosphere radiates 24-7, whereas the sun shines only part of the time. That shows quite how powerful the greenhouse effect is. And now comes the crazy thing. Carbon dioxide, methane, water vapour and all the greenhouse gases make up just a tiny fraction of the air, less than 1%, but they have a huge effect. And it's thanks to them that life is possible on Earth. Without our atmosphere containing that 1% of greenhouse gases, Earth's average temperature would be minus 18 degrees C. Minus 18. That is the temperature of your freezer. Luckily for us, Earth has this atmosphere to keep us at a comfortable average temperature of plus 15 degrees C. So greenhouse gases are actually necessary for life, but the problem comes when more and more of them build up and that temperature rises quicker and quicker. Before we explore that, let's look at these three main greenhouse gases, starting with the one that I'm sure you've heard of carbon dioxide, CO2. It's extremely good at trapping heat in the atmosphere and it stays in the atmosphere for a very long time, around a hundred years. Next up is methane, which has a very high ability to retain heat, but luckily it doesn't stay as long as CO2 in the atmosphere, around 10 years. And today there is less methane than CO2. Finally then, there's water vapour, and you may be surprised to hear that that is a greenhouse gas, but it traps heat just like the others. And there is a lot of water vapour in the atmosphere, but it doesn't stay very long, just around one year, quickly becoming rain or snow. Other greenhouse gases include nitrous oxide, which we emit when we use fertilisers. There's also ozone and carbon monoxide, but let's focus for a bit on carbon dioxide, CO2. What you need to understand is that carbon, the C in CO2, circulates naturally on Earth. We call that the carbon cycle. Some natural processes emit carbon, others capture it. The planet has a way to regulate the amount of carbon in the air to regulate its temperature. Like the thermostat that regulates the heat in your house. When the average temperature rises, we have natural carbon sinks that absorb carbon, causing the temperature rise to slow down. And there are two main carbon sinks, the oceans and the plants. 
But if there happens to be more carbon than those sinks can absorb, well then, it basically overflows. The carbon remains in the air, where it keeps increasing the temperature. 